to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position K on the white scale. Now move the second stop to position L on the green scale. Collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. For the internal and external rotation we will need. The ankle adapter and the foot plate. These are often left attached to one another. To hold the leg we will need the thigh stabilizer pad and the thigh forearm stabilizer tube. The footrest is required for comfort. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. For the left knee rotate the chair to 85 degrees on the black scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. For the knee, adjust the chair foreaft to position 15. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 0. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. Adjust the chair back angle to 0 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. For knee rotation, adjust the tilt angle to 30 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. For the left knee rotate the dynamometer to 10 degrees on the green scale. Then adjust the height to zero. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail by pressing the kickboard and sliding the chair to position 72. The dyno input arm must have its short end pointing towards the 12 o'clock position for this pattern. Install the ankle adapter into the short end of the dyno input arm. Ensure the tube is facing towards the seat. Pull the locking pin to slide into place. Now attach the footplate to the ankle adapter using the IR slash ER point. Slide fully into place then secure with a screw. Next insert the thigh forearm stabilizer into tube number 2 on the chair. Note the stabilizer must be facing the leg to be tested. Top tip. Set the stabilizer low, not high, as it is easier to adjust upwards. Insert the thigh stabilizer pad onto the stabilizer tube with the vertical section towards the inside. Secure with a handle. Finally insert the footrest into the chair on the side not being tested. Secure with a screw. Top tip. This stabilizer may need to face up, not down, depending on the height of the subject. Before applying the foot to the footplate, first make sure the straps are undone and the plate is fully loosened. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to lay on the chair. Adjust the monorail, height, and position of the thigh stabilizer until the knee is at the correct angle for the test. The stabilizer should be just above the posterior joint line, whilst also maintaining the knee in a straight line between the hip and the ankle. Secure the thigh with the strap. Note well. This strap should not be over tightened. Before fully securing the foot to the footplate, adjust the axis of rotation. The axis of rotation for knee rotation is set once the heel of the foot is opposite the black dot on the dynamometer input arm. Adjust by loosening the ankle adapter and extending or shortening the tube. To secure the foot to the footplate start by loosely affixing the straps across the foot.
then adjust the strap points to the widest part of the foot. Pinch together, making sure they are firmly pressed into the foot. Then lock in place using the screw. Finally tighten the straps making sure to tighten the uppermost strap first. For subject comfort, and to allow the subject to see the screen, the position may be modified by lifting the chair back angle.